Hello, the other day I was asked what happened when you did a device wipe on a Windows 10 machine. So what I'm looking at here is the Workspace ONE uh, UEM console and one of my Windows 10 machines. So it's one that's currently being managed. So from the more actions menu, you can see you have the choice of enterprise wipe and device wipe. The simplest way to look at the difference, and this is sort of documented so you can kind of read up on it, um, but for, for all the platforms, the way I look at it is that enterprise wipe removes everything workspace one has done to the device. Whereas a device wipe not only removes that, but it resets the device to, to factory default basically. So I'm going to trigger a device wipe and then we're going to flick over to the virtual machine because the windows 10 virtual machine I'm running to see what that looks like. I'm going to say, yep, I'm going to do full device wipe and put description in Let's put demo. And then I can put my security pin in. So just not any old person can do this. And then if I minimize that, we should see that take effect on the endpoint so that that uh, wipe command is being pushed down. Okay, so you can see there that the, the you know, if it was a laptop or a PC, the, that device is rebooting. But obviously in this case, it's a VM that's rebooting. So what essentially is going to happen is it's going to go through um, and look almost as if it's building that uh, OS from day one. So you'll see the reset, which takes a little bit of time. And then after that reset, we see some of the uh, menus that you're very familiar with. So this is going to, going to count up in terms of percentage um, and it will take a little while. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll pause the recording and then I'll resume it back. Um, as we're a little bit later in the cycle, so that you're not just sit watching a counter go up. So I'll be back and I'll, I'll stitch the two videos together. So I've just resumed the recording, and as you can see, it's just come into the end of that resetting PC process. I think in total that took probably about 10, 15 minutes. So not too long, but uh, yeah, it's obviously just come to an end. So what you'll see now is the Windows 10 OS and you'll see some very familiar screens, um, almost like you've just installed Windows 10 and it, it goes through the, you know, do you want to join this to the main, who's, you know, computer name, who's going to be using it, the recovery questions, those sort of things. Okay. So apologies, those screens will come after this one. So this is now just kind of... I guess, well, it says it's still in Windows. I don't know enough to know whether it's doing a full install um, or just layering in some of the uh, system files. Okay, again, I think I'll stop the recording and then stitch it together um, just so you're not watching a counter go up. Okay, so I just resumed recording there. Um, when it got to 47%, it did a, a, a restart. So I wanted to capture that real quick. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's continuing with where it left off. So rather than stopping and starting and recording again, I'll leave it going. Um, yeah, apologies for any sort of delayed pieces on it. Um, so as I mentioned earlier, hopefully these are all screens you're very familiar with. So again, what region I'm in, keyboard language, those sort of things. Yeah, it's on the skip, any secondary keyboard language.
Okay, so we'll say accept that. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm not going to sign with a Microsoft account on the same domain joining and then I can just sort of say who's going to use the machine. So let's just go uh, you know, hello, Windows 10 3M3. And I'll give it a password. So security questions. Um, Clearly, I'm going to make all these up. I'm not going to put all my security questions uh, in a video. So I'm just going to say, you know, what was your pet's first name? Cat. Uh, where were you born? Uh, say London. And then childhood nickname. But name. So it's going to bypass the screens. It's not actually that relevant to what I'm showing here. So I'm going to say no to this um, and decline digital assistant and I'm going to go through and say well, like no to um, GPS and those sort of things. And then when you go through this again, you remember how many questions there are to go through. Okay, so what you see here is um, when the desktop comes up, there will no longer be any of the applications that were there that were pushed down from uh, from Workspace ONE. So I had VLC down, uh, the Horizon client, a couple of other pieces, and there'll be no agent. And um, <clears throat> you know, clearly it's going to be unenrolled in the management console. So if I just go back, pull the mouse out of there, and go back in here and just do a refresh on this device, you can see that that's unenrolled. That's not, um, you know, no longer enrolled in my environment. If I want to delete the device completely out of the database, I can just do that. I'll take that out. Okay, so I'll remove that. Whilst that's happening, again, we're still at this point, we're still just sort of finalizing. I think at this point it's, it's safe to stop the recording as I say it would just be the Windows desktop that I'm sure you've seen a million times but obviously minus all the configurations and all the changes that have been made um, so yeah that that's pretty much what happens as I mentioned the enterprise reset will just remove the workspace one elements so the agent and the apps and the profiles that are pushed down it wouldn't do that kind of reinstall and reset of the operating system that's the biggest difference so I hope you found this useful. Thanks for your time.